Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, to beautiful sunny Melbourne. Well today I thought I'd run you through my Ozspit. I've had this Ozspit for probably two or three years now. Uh, a mate of mine has one, and I used and have used tees for years. So I thought, well, when, I, when the time came, I should buy one myself, and I did. And this is it. So basically what I'm gonna to do today is this is a basic kit that has one optional extra inside, which you'll see. We'll open it up and I'll give you a little tour. Guys, this is it, this is the bag. It's a good bag. It's the one that comes standard with the Ospit. Um, it's not canvas or anything like that. It's not of a, a high quality, but it is of a reasonable quality. Um, this has obviously seen the traps. It's got a bit of dust and dirt in it. So we'll just open it up and I'll give you a look what's inside, what you get with your basic kit. So first things first, you get this little thing here, which is obviously the motor. It runs on two D-sized batteries. So we'll just pop the batteries in the back, just like this. And she's right to go. It does have a cover. Mine's got melted a couple of years ago on a trip. You just uh, little switch at the back, just turn it on, and she spins. It's easy as that. So you obviously get the spit part. You get this part here, which hangs off the pole, which I'll show you how that's done later on. So that sort of hangs off the pole like that. Self balances. Believe it or not, it's pretty good. You get two prongs, put in your meat. Uh, this one here has the stainless steel pole, which you, you know, you place your meat on the pole. These little skewers go in like, like that, and they hold your meat in place as it turns, just like that. So you get that one, and you get this one, which is the, which is the big stick. This is the one you belt in the ground. It's got a point at the end. You belt that in the ground, and that supports it all. So, yeah, that's that. What I also got, I got an optional extra, which we've used a few times to do our taties and things like that. It's a spinner. So this little spinner here goes onto the middle rod. You just do it like that. Put your spuds and that in there. Pop your lid on. Insert, it has a little doohickey here to hold it in place. And she just spins like that. You can do chicken wings and roast taties and what have you in there. There's enough there for, we put enough potatoes in there for five, six people. So you can get a fair bit of spuds in there. So yeah, so that's the basic kit. Um, they retail, I'm guesstimating now, about 200 bucks uh, from Ospit, plus delivery of course. But you, if you go to one of these shows, you can usually pick it up at a better price. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll cook something on this today. All right, see how we go. Uh, uh, guys, this is your motor. You notice on the rod there's, oh, hang on, here we go. On the rod there's two little grooves. Those two grooves go into the grooves just in there like that. So that's how it self balances. Now, it's really awkward to film this, so all I'm going to do is pretend there's meat on the end. It's stinking hot. Slide into there onto that and it holds and it's nice self-balanced. You turn a little and she spins. How'd that turn out? Hey guys, we're back. Well, we've got the ice spit up and going. We've got the King's fire pit happening. It's spinning around. We've got the pork on here at the moment. When I was talking the other day to Nass from Nass Time Adventures, I said, I'm gonna do this uh, video. He says, no, you should do lamb. Lamb is better. And I go, no, Nass, we're gonna do a pork. So don't forget, this is all for you, Nass from Nass Time Adventures. All right, we'll see how this goes. It's been on for about 10, 15 minutes now, and it's turning just beautifully. We're looking forward to dinner tonight. There you go, guys, the roast is done. So that is pretty awesome. That little temperature probe's last the distance. There it is right there in shot. There it is, look at that. So that's good. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.